Canadians and two up in New York. Shadow Hunters! They go get it, Dean Dunn, then they explode. Shadow Hunters! Shadow Hunters! Shadow Hunters! Shadow Hunters! Hello! I'm Christine! I'm Natasha! And episode 9 of Shadow Hunters premiered last night. I'm rocking the vampire look today. <laughs> look how pale I look! I <laughs> In honor of Simon's rise from the dead. So episode nine was called Rise Up. Oh, I didn't know that. That's <laughs> <laughs> the only way to rise up. So episode nine, overall thoughts. Let's start with our positives. Mm -hmm. Okay, my positive for this episode was that there was a scene with really great fight choreography. Yes. It looked like a real fight. It did. And I was like, wow, look how nice mm -hmm. this fight looks. I really especially love Jace's hair flopping around. It looked like Jamie. Yeah. Jamie Jace. Mm -hmm. It wasn't brilliant dialogue, but I did like the moment where Clary was like, are you feeling better? And he's like, <laughs> I'm drinking blood, Clary. <laughs> the back and forth with Raphael and Luke. Um, right before they went and <laughs> uh, took down the Shadow Hunters to get to Meliorn. It was a very Twilight, very Twilight episode. Jace Wayland is Switzerland. I'm sorry, Bella. What did you get here? The Clave is searching for the Mortal Cup in Clary's room. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. And they're looking through her bra drawer. And Jace is like, I don't think that's the cup you're looking for. Oh. She had a lot of bras for being someone who's who doesn't close. live there. Yeah. How did she get money? Did the claim just have endless money at the Institute? How does money work? I just, the Lightwoods just must do have they, money. Do they use galleons and stuff? <laughs> I never thought about yeah, that. Yeah, I Why think they have never coins. Come up? Does this have regular money? Do they have Alicante money? How do they make money? Do, how do they get paid as shadow hunters? Yeah, because it should be like their government paying them. Yeah, but yeah. Should they pay taxes? Well, maybe because you know how like Magnus is always getting paid through precious gems and stuff. Maybe that's how they have it all because they have all of these like gems and things. I, I am assuming they could just steal money easily, too. Yeah, <laughs> they're all glamour. Okay, my favorite scene in the episode was, was the bra scene, because it was just so funny. I think that was my favorite scene. It's just so unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> so before we go into our full, honest thoughts, I just want to remind you guys that this is an honest review. We're honestly looking at this episode and sharing our thoughts. And we love the books, and we want the show to do well. But mm -hmm. that doesn't mean we're going to blatantly love whatever they, they do. do. You don't want to hear anything negative about the show. Just go ahead and click away. Okay, spoiler section. Let's start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So Simon's running and he looks in a cracked mirror, sees his reflection. He's like, oh God, wait, is this all a big mistake? Am I not, I'm not one of you, right? I can see myself in the mirror. I know how vampires work. <laughs> I love how the wards are broken. Izzy's on the phone with Jace. Jace, they got through the wards. What do you mean they got through the wards? Warlocks made those to block out anything that wasn't shadow hunters into coming into the Institute. Let me give you a lecture over the phone. <laughs> Clary stop in the middle of the street. We still haven't had a talk about us. What do you mean you? <laughs> you have so many other things to worry about. Malik. I don't know what's going on with this storyline because mm. it's getting uncomfortable. Alec is being really mean to Magnus. Alec is being really mean to everybody. Let's just get that yeah, straight. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> He's like gone on this crusade because he finally found out that his parents are a part of the circle. <laughs> yeah, which it just in general is a weird thing that he didn't know because it's like known history, history in the Shadowhunter world. See, Alec would have been born when the circle happened. Yes. They're going a weird way with this plot. Mm -hmm. I don't like Alec being this weird douche canoe to everyone. Especially Magnus. Well, he's not being a douche canoe to Lydia. That's that's the new Magnus. <laughs> Lydia's the new Magnus. <laughs> Magnus offers to help heal his arm, which, mm -hmm. why isn't healing from an eye raise? <laughs> Because it's like, the skin is peeling off. It was I know, but grotesque. it always heals unless there's demon venom. Yeah. It's the only thing that like really stops it. Even when people break an arm, it just irates it. And it's like, whoop. Hitting the, um, the punching bag with his like nasty, grotesque arm. It's like a self-inflicted masochism, maybe. Mm -hmm. Because he's being such a douche canoe. Okay, he's I like can. going off the deep end. He is. He's messed up. That's how Jace so nicely put it. I love how Jace walks in. They're talking about Lydia. He's like, who? Lydia! <laughs> Get with it, Jace! She's that random girl who walked in last week! You look like your father! <laughs> not really your father. I can't even start to get into the weird plot holes of not knowing what Valentine looks like.
looks like. If they have the technology to know what Valentine looks like. In the books, they don't have computers and technology and stuff, but in the show, they do. And Alec clearly knows what Valentine looks like. <laughs> and there should be Google access to Valentine if this is what their world is like. And how does Jace not know that he's alive and that he's Valentine? We're talking about technology, let's talk about the fact that Jace took a selfie with the deflect room. Oh my god, Jace took a <laughs> selfie today. It just looks like it's taking a bicep pic to <laughs> send to Clary. I'm like, I understand why you did it. She needed to draw Ruin so she couldn't be tracked because yeah. they were after her and the Mortal Cub. I think she's in league with Valentine. It's just funny the way that they use technology in the show. And the way that, like, Magnus' boards and magic sounds, it sounded like he was, like... It sounds, it sounds very like technological. Technology. It sounds yeah. like he's playing with uh, Iron Man's computer. Yeah. Ooh, 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 it looks like yeah, it, it too. Does. <laughs> like, what are all these rooms that are going up? The circle is rising. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like there's people sitting on the floor in a circle and they're standing up? <laughs> Simon appears back in his house. His mom walks in and it seems like he's going to tell her, mm -hmm. right? And I immediately flash to, like, the most beautiful hysterical scene in City of Ashes where Clary's like, here's some ways where you can go about telling your mom. You have to oh, tell your mom. Yeah. And it's a pamphlet about how to come out. <laughs> if you're gay. Yeah. And he replaced the word gay <laughs> with vampire. <laughs> and just how beautiful would it have been I know. if we had that scene. I remember laughing hysterically reading that. Mom, I have something to tell you. I'm a vampire. <laughs> Simon is really upset at Clary and at Raphael and hopefully he realizes that it's not their fault. It was this or death, Simon. I don't <laughs> know what you wanted from her. So Merleon is arrested because they think he's the one who helped Valentine get into the Institute because the, the Sealy blood. blood was found in those Forsaken. Forsaken. And we saw Valentine kill those Fays and use their blood. Those Forsaken. were the invisible people that we couldn't figure out uh, what they so were. Weird. It's just so weird. <laughs> Plot line. So Merlion didn't do anything. They were about to send him to the Silent Brothers to torture the information out of him. And obviously, that's not what anybody <laughs> wants. But Alec wants that. <laughs> Lydia is doing her job, but Alec is like siding with her because he believes this is right. I feel like he wants to hurt his family too. I feel like he's trying to suppress his feelings for Jace mm -hmm. too. That's what they're trying to go for in this. It's just the thing with Parabashi is that they're so close, this would never happen. They have so much respect for each other, they have so much love for each other. It's more than just being best friends and then getting in a fight. Like yeah. if you're Parabashi, then you don't, it doesn't matter. You won't get in the fight. You won't turn against each other with something as dramatic as a uh, friend being tortured. You won't ever resent that person for something that they did. Like, just take Jem and Will, for instance. Like, never, they ever, love ever, the same ever. person. Oh my god. Alec and Jace would never ever yeah. do it. It's never ever. When they were fighting, yeah, it was a cool fight scene, but I was like, they would never, no. ever, 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 unless it, I don't, never. Never. Even if they love the same person. Yeah. Never. <laughs> Even if they loved each other. Like, never! <laughs> it hurt my heart. And then the fact that this all happened, and then Jace kind of laid his heart on the line, mm -hmm. and Alex said, no? Yeah. What the f***? I, I just could What do you mean, no? <laughs> Even Valentine and Luke. Like, in the show, Valentine does betray their pair body bond by, mm -hmm. like, shoving him in a werewolf den. In reality... In the book. In the book. Reality. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reality. Luke gets bitten when they're out on a werewolf thing. But I think it was an accident, and then he was like, fuck you, I hate werewolves. It's just weird that he would still say no. He wouldn't say no. No. It's his sister, too. Yeah. His sister. His sister. His sister and his parabaji he's going against. How does this, how could this compute? Like, I could see where he could maybe stand up for it for a second, but then they would talk to him, mm -hmm. and he'd, like, be like, fine. Even if he doesn't agree, he'd be like, you're my Parabachi. You're my fucking sister. This is important. This family. Another Twilight thing. We have Raphael and Luke clashing a lot. Just exchanging Twilight disses. <laughs> Put a muzzle on your mud. Bite me. <laughs> Sit down. Play dead. <laughs> Clary just like, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> it just reminds me of the Hollywood show and like Jacob and Ed were going like this. <laughs> Jace and Izzy go to Magnus and tell him that they want him to steal Alex. Steal it, oh, so that they can get into the floor and get the cup. It's just confusing because Alec wants them to get the cup, right? Yes. He wants Lydia to, to get the, the cup. cup. And he's the one who has access to the cup. So why hasn't he given them the cup? Is it like his 
conscience weird thing coming in yeah. and just like not letting him give up the cup or was he waiting for them to try to find it themselves i know because meliorn is the one that gave up clary when alec knows and he's on this crusade i feel like maybe alec was trying to lure Protect? clary in because he can't actually get the cup without clary's powers oh get her get it out yeah maybe that he could still reason. hand it over yeah i don't know and then they could like they could find clary i don't know magnus <laughs> Goes up to Alex's wall, <laughs> opens the wall. Now, we were watching this episode with the cast, and we, we couldn't hear. really hear. So we see this, and it just looks like he's peeping <laughs> in on Alex, who wasn't wearing a shirt. Sure. Harry, Harry Jr. Shoe was there, and he was like, oh my god, I didn't even know what I was supposed to be looking at when we were shooting this. And like, we're all just faces. laughing. <laughs> yeah, because he's like, I don't know what sort of faces I should be making. He's like a peeping Tom. Uh, it was just very funny. <laughs> now we know that yeah. he was looking for his stele, mm -hmm. and he had a reason. He wasn't, like, peeping in on Alec randomly. <laughs> so he steals the stele, and Jace uses it, gets the cup, and Magnus gets it back. So Alec is none the wiser that anything happened. And they have another uncomfortably mean confrontation. Where Alec tells Magnus that he's getting married. He's marrying Lydia. Because that's, that's just following his heart. If that's following your heart, then it just leads me to believe that he doesn't even like Magnus. Mm -hmm. Just, it was weird the way they set that up last week. Maybe it's time you start following your heart. You know what, Magnus? I think you're right. Lydia. Lydia. Marry me. <laughs> Maybe his heart is just black and he wants to hurt everyone who loves him. Oy vey. I know you can explain this all away with like, he's mad at his family and stuff, but mm -hmm. it's still, it's too out of character for me to like, want to go along with it all. <laughs> Did we already talk about the dramatic Simon shot with the music where he looks over his shoulder and it's like, dun dun dun. <laughs> Why'd you do that? You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> Clary and Izzy decide the way to stop this is to intercept Merlin on the way to Silent City. It takes them a really long time to get Merlin to Silent City. <laughs> I feel like they had a lot of time to go talk to Raphael. Yes. And then the werewolves and the vampires had time to argue with each other <laughs> over petty things. Uh, James had a line where he sounded British today. <laughs> They're bringing the British in little by little. Clary's like, we can call it all off. Just say the word there's no turning back now so i approve funny. though i approve of this message <laughs> then we have the huge alec jace fight scene it was beautiful uh, fight scene for the show it kind of reminded me of like a daredevil fight scene yeah but it was just the most unrealistic <laughs> plot line i've ever seen in the show so far jace looks like he's gonna cry after alec says no which is completely understandable because mm -hmm. in never in a million years should alec have said no you're, you're going against everything that it means to be a pair of body it doesn't Compute. It doesn't compute. Like, I just read Lady Midnight. There's so much Parabati stuff. I feel like I'm so in tune with that right now. This is so against it. At the very end, Izzy is oh. made up with Merlin. But maybe they're just friends. <laughs> friends are make out. Uh, yeah, right? I mean, that's what like, I thought that's they were in the beginning. They're friends with benefits. Friends with benefits. But it, I don't know. She made it out to seem like they were more than that. <laughs> Last night, um, we were watching it with the cast, and Rod forgot that she they, kissed, they kissed And she's like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> And then they kissed again. <laughs> He's like, no! <laughs> and the cliffhanger at the end was Merleon being impressed with Clary. And Jace says, again, unrelatedly, you're a, a shadow hunter, hunter now. Okay, Jace. And Clary's like, oh, it wasn't me. Is everyone? And Jace's like, it was you. You're a shadow hunter. <laughs> she, and Clary's like, it wasn't me, Jace. It was you. You're a shadow hunter. <laughs> That's just like every scene between them when Clary does something minuscule, but like, no, that was so impressive. Clary, you're a shadow hunter. You killed a demon. You're a shadow hunter. Remember when I single-handedly took on a demon, Jace? Please. I had a cup and I was like, get away. Me. Oh, and she killed that demon that looked like Jace. But, you know, you only had to stab it once and it died. Clary, you're a shadow hunter. So Merloin is going to help her find her dad. Claire's gonna outright go looking for Valentine. Mm -hmm. When she has the cup, she'd be putting the cup in reach Ritz. of Valentine. And she's just gonna single-handedly take him on. She took on a demon! She can take, take on, on Valentine. Valentine! It's time! Level she one demon! Level two Valentine! <laughs> how she does on level two. <laughs> you think he just like takes one boke and Valentine dies? <laughs> well, we'll see what happens next week. It yeah. looks like it's gonna be an interesting episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you give this episode? Um, it was pretty good. So I would give it a B. Really? Wow, really? Yeah. I gave my really great episode a B. 
The, oh. Maybe B minus then. <laughs> I think I'd go C minus because although I feel like it was put together better and it flows, the plot line is so off the wall for me. I can't take it seriously. I'm just like, what are you doing? If you're gonna use Parabachi in your show, then you have to follow some parabachi -ness or else laws. there's no reason to make it. Why aren't they just best friends who are fighting? I'm trying to accept the show. And I know. it's really hard to do that when you're huge fans of the books. Yeah. And you've been reading these since yeah. you were so young. Obviously, we're trying to accept the show. Like, every single week, I talk about how I'm trying. Mm -hmm. and, and, like, especially last week and the week before. Like, I know they were getting Good better. Episode. Obviously, I understand the show's going to be different. But if it's going to be in a different way that doesn't make sense with the show lore. The show lore. They're like, it's Parabody. They have the strongest bond. Like, Izzy talks about that. Yeah. <laughs> and specifically. So, they laid down that groundwork to go along with what was in the book and now they're just like <laughs> at the same time though like why does the show have to be different from the books it doesn't it, but if it was yeah. different in a good way that made sense for them then I would be like oh okay. okay just like when Lydia came in I was like that's weird but I like this character mm -hmm. so I'm like that worked for me yeah I just Mm. Maybe next week will be fun. Again, optimistic. I hope come second season they'll start to make a lot of different changes because they'll be able to take the critique of everything that they've heard, heard. about this season. Yeah. Not from us, like from everyone in the world. I'm Christine. I'm Natasha. Thank you so much for watching. Please share your thoughts and feelings. I make videos every Tuesday. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Shadow Hunters! <laughs> 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 <laughs>